Leading experts and scholars gathered in Seoul for the annual security conference, Asam Plenum 2024. Our defense correspondent, Chen Min-jong, turned to some experts for their take on how Asia can maintain peace amid persistent threats from North Korea. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell has stressed the importance of trilateral cooperation between Seoul, Washington and Tokyo to confront threats posed by North Korea. The remarks came in a virtual address on Tuesday at an annual security conference held in Seoul, Asam Planum 2024. Both alliances have transformed from primarily security-focused relationships to truly comprehensive global partnerships with impacts reverberating far beyond the Indo-Pacific. ASAN Planum 2024, hosted by South Korea's ASAN Institute for Policy Studies, was attended by more than 50 scholars, former government officials, and experts from home and abroad. At this year's conference, experts sought to put Asia in a position to achieve and maintain peace and prosperity in the face of new challenges, especially with regard to North Korea's evolving threats to security. Sumi Terry, a senior fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations, said the focus should be on risk reduction through sanctions. The international environment right now is favorable for North Korea because sanctions are not being enforced with, with um, China abstaining and Russia vetoing the panel of experts and all of that. Um, China and Russia are not helping at all. Meanwhile, Bruce Bennett, defense researcher at the Rand Corporation, said the current deterrence methods are not working. I think we have to take a very serious attitude on trying to coerce them into stopping. I think we have to do that by taking advantage of information. Moving forward, experts say perhaps the single most important thing is to work with China, as Beijing has made clear repeatedly that it doesn't support the actual use of nuclear weapons. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.